Well, that is a big health hazard, mm -hmm. but there is also another big environmental health concern in Metro Detroit, and that is testing is continuing in Flat Rock this weekend after a gas leak there that was caused by the Ford plant. Grant Herms has an update for us now on the impact to homes and schools in that area. Now the leak may be plugged, but they are still working in Flat Rock to make sure that levels of gas in the sewers and in homes are safe as hundreds of people are still forced to evacuate their houses. Steady but slow progress in Flat Rock. The city's mayor giving an update on the widespread testing going on in two of the city's evacuation zones. The testing is happening in sewers and homes. It's not complete. The testing will continue. Late this week, crews going door to door testing gas levels. Ultimately, 1,100 homes needing to be evacuated as Ford plugged the gasoline line that caused the leak. Our goal was to flush any fumes that were left in the uh, sanitary sewer. And the reading after our flushings, the readings have gone way down almost to zero. But concerns have spread to schools and surrounding neighborhoods after some people have opened their taps to find discolored water. City officials reassuring things are safe. You're concerned about our schools, as are we. Our schools are continuously being monitored. And they are, at this time, clear of contaminants. But the testing will continue in our schools. And when people open their taps, they get a little bit of cloudy water or a little bit of brown water. But if you let your your uh, uh, like your kitchen sink or your laundry tub faucet flow for a little bit, it will clear up. So it's not a, a danger to anybody, and it's not definitely not related to the gasoline leak. Now right now, folks living in evacuation zones one and two are eligible for gift cards, and the city is also making sure that they can put those people up in hotels for the time being. Now right now, there is no timeline for when the evacuation order will be lifted. Grant Herms, Local 4.